Hi, my name is Mark Bauer. I live uh, north of Fort Worth, Texas, and I bought a <laughs> a nine dollar 48, 48 inch long level. Uh, it's pretty beat up, made out of wood, and uh, I've always needed a longer one, but I always thought they were too expensive in the uh, hardware store, so I found this antique one. Um, the big question, of course, is how accurate is it? And one of the first things I did when I first put it up is this has two vials on it. Uh, I'm not used to that. I've never seen that on a level before. And not only that, but the bottom one worked, but the top one behaved crazily. It, the bubble just didn't show up. If there's one in there, you'd have to really tilt it and it would swing by real fast, but it never would rest in the center. Let me zoom up a little bit here. Maybe you can see it. See, there's two vials and you'll watch that bow and yep, there it goes but it never shows up in the center like the bottom one does so i did a little research and something i discovered is and uh yeah this is the type of level i'm used to is this single vial that you see all the time with these i guess cheaper uh, hardware stores type so I was thrown by the fact that there were two vials in the other one. Well, I did a little research and it turns out in both cases, although they look very symmetrical, levels do not have a perfect cylinder in them. And the reason is obvious once it's explained to you. I, I, was, I was embarrassed, it didn't occur to me why. If you have a perfect cylinder, and you're walking around with a level that was a perfect cylinder, the, the, the air bubble is going to end up on a corner depending on how you were holding it when you walked up to your surface. And here's, let's say you put that level on a perfectly horizontal surface. Well, there's nothing to make that air bubble move to the center because it's already level. The entire cylinder is level. That bubble's not going to go to the center just because a human wants to know that he's sitting on level. It's going to go there only if there's a force, and there's no force moving that air bubble. That's why a perfectly cylindrical glass vial would be useless for a level. So what they do is, for these single levels, they make them bulbous. Apparently not enough for our eyeballs to determine or to see it But they, here's an exaggerated view Such that when you end up and you go and you get to a level surface That it, it won't stay in the corner. It'll creep up and go to the center. So your bubble ends up there and Admittedly it hurts the accuracy a little bit because it hurts the sensitivity but you got to have something to make that bubble want to go to the center. And so for these um, single vials with the bulbous symmetrical, see it? Here's a cross section right here. It's perfectly symmetrical. And this end cap here is perfectly symmetrical. So it doesn't matter if you flip this around, it's going to behave the same, even sideways. You can use that level to determine if you're level. So that's how these single vials work. What's interesting is these double vials don't do it that way. These double vials, let me get it straight. The bottom one is curved. It's a, it's a cylinder, but the entire cylinder is curved. And the upper one is just like it, but opposite. It's curved such that when you get to a a level surface the bubble goes to the center of the bottom one but it's somewhere else on this upper one well that why did they make that upper one <laughs> because you don't have to worry about up and down on your level you just walk up and hey I turned it around was well, the same configuration what was this what this was the upper one and now it's your lower one and it behaves correctly because of the orientation is such that it works so it's kind of ingenious, and that's why there's two vials here, because of the, they, they are both curved, if you will. So the next question is, well, how accurate is this level that I bought for $9 in an antique store? Well, it turns out it's very easy to check how accurate your levels are. And hopefully, I 
got my money's worth, what you do is you get that bubble right in between the two marks. Ah, don't let it slip. Hold it tightly. Double check that bubble's in the center so you make a line. Then just flip your level around. And the way I do it is I cover up the line barely. So I'm not looking at it, I'm not biased by that line. So I can't see a line. I go back to my bubble, get it level, push it tight and, and voila, and it's close. It comes to a point here, they actually touch, but the lines start diverging. Is that a lot or a little? It's probably less than a, de a degree. Probably good enough for the woodworking that I do for shelves and such. Uh, if you're a surveyor though, that's probably not good enough. Um, let's check the uh, cheaper one here. This is a more modern single vial. Let's do the same thing. I'm going to get that bubble right in the center. Make a mark. Turn the level over. I'm going to hide the mark. Although I'm going to get close. Okay, I can't see the mark. I'm going to level up my level. The bubble's right there. And that's pretty dang close. It's the same space all the way across. That is much more accurate than my $9 antique level. So. <laughs> I guess I'll stick to this one when I have to get something level and I will use that four footer uh, when I really, really have to have it. Um, incidentally, there are methods to fix a level, to calibrate it. Um, I've seen different methods. One, you probably peel this, in this case, you might peel this cover away and you can adjust the bubble, the vials such that they uh, will, will match both directions very well. I've also seen cases where people solder or put little bumps such that when it sets on something it fixes it but anyway it's different for all kinds of levels and uh, that's for another video. I appreciate it.